It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dark Horse Brewing Company and it's a bottle of the Amber Ale coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's the label, there's the Dark Horse bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Wow, loads of good smoke on this opening. Nice smoky, lively beer. So I'm expecting quite a lot of carbonation with this one with that fantastic smoky opening. It's carbon dioxide, I'm just, you know, it's just my way of reviewing beer. It's just to kind of make it a little bit more fun. Beer in the glass then, one finger, slightly off white head. Nice raging carbonation on this beer. There you go, there's the camera picking it up. Yeah, amber beer, quite clear, little bit of haze to it, I've got to be honest. But this stage of the review, I would like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, is where you can find this beer, great American beer, Belgium, German, French beer, it is, yeah, good stuff from the UK, check them out, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest UK online beer store, and probably beer store for that matter, it's a huge place down there in Norfolk. Um, aroma then on the amber ale. Mm. Unusual aroma coming from the yeast on this one. It's, a, it's almost as if they've used a Belgian yeast with this beer. It's that candied sugar, candied fruit slightly spicy aroma. Uh, when I say unusual, um, for an amber ale it's unusual. Mm, let's dive in. Cheers. Really carbonated, kind of stinging on the tongue. Really pushes that beer around the inside of the mouth. It's a refreshing beer. I'm going to go and take another taste. It's a fruity, toffee, sweet toffee, biscuity. A little bit bready taste. Not a lot of bitterness on the back end. This beer is all about the malty sweetness. Yeah, next to no hot bitterness. It's, it's a pleasant, pleasant beer. It's drinkable, it's pleasant. refreshing I think it's just a beer that it's a bit of a lawnmower beer you know you cut the grass you want something to kind of refresh yourself with a little bit of flavor yes you're getting some sweetness you're getting some biscuity notes pardon me it's very carbonated as you can see but that's about it there's not there's not an awful lot I can say about this beer other than this, it's quite pleasurable. It's a bottle condition beer. I can see there's loads of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. You see that kind of quite clean, crisp beer? It's going to change colour now. There you go, look at that. That's a completely different beer. Now, I mentioned in the aroma about this Belgium yeast. It's not really coming through. I think it was um, a bit of a mixed up aroma. I'm sh pretty sure I was picking up a Belgium yeast strain, but I don't think so. But I will certainly know now by dumping the yeast in. It could be. It could be. 
it's certainly got that spiciness to it. It's certainly got that little bit of lemon in there. It's like a Belgian broom or something. It's very close to being that, that style of beer. It's not bad. It's not bad. 5.5% Dark Horse Brewing Company. It's the Dark Horse Amber Ale. Let's give it a rating. It's okay, but that's all it is. It's okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just okay. Biscuity is malty, slightly spicy. It's a drinkable, sessionable beer. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Six out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.